HP Design Jet Utility. This software is especially designed for the Design Jet printers. So when you open this uh, Design Jet software utility, it will show you this front screen. Uh, if you see here, this is an add printer. You can add your printer here. When when you install it, there will be not uh, no printer at all. It won't detect by itself. You have to add the printer. So here, when you press add the printer, it will show you the quick find. Quick is better to use this option rather than the general uh, general search. Use this one. Just write your printer IP address, and it will take it will add your desired printer all right so this is an overview it shows that what printer serial number is what's the firmware version how much ink is left right now which printer is which paper is loaded what are the alerts like for example ink blow paper jam or whatever it will come here in supplies it will show you the overview of the supplies how much ink is left so this is a ink it shows here how much is left it shows the printhead is already expired means out of warranty you can still use it um, all right if you go down here it shows that uh, which role is set it up which paper is it and what's the happening with the other role like it's on a standby is a plain paper when you send the uh, print job on a plain paper then role one will uh, go on a standby and it will print on a plain paper if you select on your driver stacker uh, it's right now set it up on a stacker uh, in 20 uh, from t9 20 till t25 uh, till t3500 uh, you have a stacker and the basket so you can use uh, either basket or stacker stacker uh, it is uh, it's a better option so it's right now it's set it up on a stacker all right on a support here you can if you click on it it will take you to the driver and software on, uh, of HP website it will take you direct to the HP website uh, for troubleshooting you can select this one uh, but uh, it will uh, ask you to download the user manual in order to resolve the issue um, not the service manual uh, uh, print quality troubleshooting when you having a trouble with your images like color is not coming fine or uh, lines are not coming correctly on your plans then you use this option uh, better you consult with your HP support team uh, before you doing any uh, taking any step they uh, they are very helpful it's better to give them a call an admin an admin if you want to check your uh, latest firmware just click here if it fine it will tell you that yeah you need to download this one but uh, is it is better to consult with your IT technician or HP support uh, launch uh, embedded server okay this one is the same thing which you uh, if you put the, your printer ip address on your um, browser it will take you to the same page so right now i click on it it uh, took me to the inside of the printer so like it will show you everything like how many prints already done on this printer and uh, uh, what is the usage supplies also you can see here for accounting option you also have an accounting option that shows uh, how much ink is used on this page so for example I click here so it will show me how much ink is used so you can uh, you, you know that how much is the cost of the uh, how much is the expense so you can uh, put here the uh, information how much uh, you know if you buy the ink volume and you put ink volume and their cost so it will uh, uh, add it up and it will tell you the how much is the cost of the ink is already used all right in setup 
it shows the uh, security uh, email server email server is for the scan to network oh sorry scan to email uh, it will it requires the internet on your uh, printer scan to network is a setting which you just set it up a printer on a networking on a network so uh, on the network is a local printer so you can set, scan to your local uh, network file uh, maintenance and under maintenance is a uh, firmware update and print management firmware update this is the option it shows that you can uh, update your firmware you just please click uh, check now it will check and it will tell you that uh, firmware is up to date uh, before updating anything if you click on the menu uh, ma you can manually update the firmware but um, i recommend you before doing any firmware upgrade you have to talk to your it technician or hp um, uh, support because if you upgrade the wrong firmware or it maybe printer don't require a firmware and you upgrade the uh, 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 old firmware on it it, it will destroy your printer so uh, better not to touch it because it's a little bit critical uh, so yeah don't touch it unless uh, you talk to the your uh, HP people all right so this one check automatically for update this thing uh, will uh, this option allow printer to check for firmware and download the firmware and upgrade by itself but it requires your printer to be connected to the internet not only network otherwise it won't work it will even you search on a on a printer that uh, uh, download check for the new firmware it will tell you is up to date but it's not so in network you can set it up your network uh, uh, configs uh, this one is a customer involvement so it, you have to read about it uh, that you can you want to send information and uh, do you want support so uh, all the things are written you can read it so yeah many customers don't like to so they just say that uh, they don't want it so that's like uh, the way I'll leave it like that so you can also ignore it um, all right so optimize this is these are the supports support so you just click on it it will take you these are options are available on the uh, the utility too as you see uh, in the color center you will find this calibration paper calibrate paper so paper um, sometimes your colors are not coming fine so it will calibrate paper according to your print uh, this is a option and uh, paper uh, present management is a, actually a new type of paper if you have you can select that how thick is it and how much is a gloss or matte so this is a overview of uh, this whole HP design jet utility I hope uh, the things which I want to tell you guys you understand if you're having trouble just let me know I will happy to help thank you